What's up YouTube? Have you ever wondered about the text tools found in a free publisher on the iPad? Well, that's what we're here to talk about today. Welcome back. My name is Ben Nielsen. I'm a media design educator. And today we're going to talk about the two text tools found in a Fame Publisher on the iPad. Now this video and all of these tools videos that I'm doing right now for a Fame Publisher on the iPad are actually part of my new course, which is an intro to a Fame Publisher on the iPad, how to make a mood board. So if you're interested in taking that entire course and learning the ins and outs as a beginner and affinity publisher on the iPad, make sure that you check the link in the description below. There's two options. One is on Skillshare if you have a subscription there and the other is on Gumroad as a single purchase option. Now let's dive in and talk more about these text tools found in affinity publisher on the iPad. Here in Affinity Publisher on the iPad, there are two text tools. You can find them on the left-hand side. One looks like a T and one like an A. The T is what we call the frame text tool. So you can see that you get options along the top similar to what you might be used to seeing in Microsoft Word, like font and different decoration options and font size. And so there's a lot of different things that you can do straight from here. And if you need to see more options, you can just take a finger and swipe to scroll along them. So there are a few more things like bullet points and stuff like that over there. Now the frame text tool, when you click and drag it out, is going to drag out a text frame like you would expect. So this is basically going to set how far your text can go. If you are typing, like I am here, and you reach the end of a line, it will jump to the next line. So this is going to be in contrast to the next text tool that we're going to talk about, the artistic text tool. Now, obviously, I have my keyboard connected, so I'm able to type on my keyboard. But if you don't have a keyboard connected or if you need the on-screen keyboard, you can hit this little keyboard button down at the bottom. You can see you have a special toolbar that has appeared here. And you can tap this and say show keyboard. Of course, if you don't have a keyboard connected, this will just appear automatically. And then you can type there, do all of your text work. I do recommend if you're going to be typing a lot that you have some kind of a keyboard. I'm using the Magic Keyboard, but there's also the Smart Keyboard from Apple, and there are a lot of different Bluetooth keyboards that are available as well. Any of those will work. There's this little button here that is on the left side of the toolbar. And that, when you open it up, gives you a bunch of different important options like symbols, your breaks, that kind of thing. You can scroll through this. And so you can see there's a lot of different things that you might need here that are found under this menu. Now, we won't really probably need these for our project, but I just thought it'd be good for you to know that. And then you can switch back to your regular ABC keyboard. Okay, I'm going to drop the keyboard down here. So that is the text frame tool. An important thing to note is that if we resize this by dragging from one of the handles, we can do that with the text tool or with the move tool, that this text will reflow, but it won't change the actual size of the text. To do that, we would need to go change our font size. Now that's in contrast to the next tool, which is the artistic text tool. When we tap on that one, the A, we're going to have a lot of the same options that we had before, but when we drag out, we're not going to get a box. We're going to drag out the points size of the text that we want. So say we wanted our text to be about this big, we're just going to go there. And now when we type, it's just going to expand the text box with us. And it's going to keep going even if it goes off of the actual page. Then if we resize this, let's just grab the move tool and resize it. You can see that we resize the actual font size rather than the size of the text box and just reflow the text. Let me just maneuver that a little bit here. So that's the difference between the artistic text tool and the frame text tool. And that's two different ways that you can add text and you'll use them for different purposes as you go along. Okay, I hope you enjoyed learning more about Affinity Publisher on the iPad. These tool videos that we're doing are all from my course, Intro to Affinity Publisher on the iPad, which is going to walk you through how to get really comfortable using Affinity Publisher on your iPad. We've never had a professional tool on the iPad like this before, and so it's new to a lot of people. So be sure to check out the links in the description below. If you have a Skillshare subscription, you can go ahead and click the link to the Skillshare course and watch it there. But if you don't have a Skillshare subscription, I still have an option for you because I also have the course listed over on Gumroad. The course is $25 over there, but if you use the special code YT15, you can get it for just $15 because you're coming from YouTube. So make sure to take advantage of that. Check out those and all my other courses in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll chat in the comments and I will see you in the next video.